training day together on the daily video trainer and we're going to finish on a hard one. We got legs and we got shoulders. So make sure that you take your pre-workout supplements to ensure this is your best workout ever and I'll see you at the gym. The first exercise that we have for legs today is the reverse hack squats. So you should remember this movement from last week. You're going to face the hack squat machine with your shoulders underneath the shoulder pads and then you're going to have your feet at the bottom portion of the foot pad. You're going to come down to your legs are at a right angle, keeping your back straight the whole time. Breathing out on the way up, breathing in on the way down. Remember this is just a warm-up set to begin with. So you need to do around 15 repetitions quite comfortably without any weight just to warm up your legs and your knees. Once you finish your warm-up set you can put some weight on the machine and again feet at the bottom of the foot pad platform, unrack the weight, position yourself, keeping your back flat, going down until your legs are at a right angle, and then pushing back up. Breathing out on the way up, breathing in on the way back down. On this set, you need to reach failure at around 15 repetitions. Once you've done your set, rest for around 45 seconds, and then do two more sets, again resting 45 seconds between each. Once you've done your three sets, you're finished with your reverse hack squats, and you're ready to move on to leg extensions. Another exercise that we did last week. So you can sit into the leg extension machine. You can place your shins behind the foot pad as you can see Jim is demonstrating here. Hold on to the handles either side of you to keep your back and your butt from leaving the machine. And then you're gonna extend up, breathing out on the way up, and then breathing in as your legs come back down. You need to reach failure at around 15 repetitions on this movement, and you need to do three sets in total. And once you've done so, we're ready to work the hamstrings by going onto the lying hamstring curl. So find yourself a hamstring curl like the one in the picture adjust the foot pad like so and then select a weight that will allow you to reach failure at around 15 repetitions then you're gonna lie face down onto the pad hold onto the handles in front of you to stop you from sliding down and then place the backs of the ankles behind the pad just like Jimmy's showing you here and then you're gonna curl all the way up to your buttocks and then all the way down for a good stretch so come all the way up and squeeze your hamstrings and then go all the way back down to stretch your hamstrings out breathe out on the way up and breathe in on the way back down you need to reach failure at 15 15 repetitions and you need to do three sets in total. Rest for 45 seconds between each and that's it, legs are done. Let's move on to shoulders. The first exercise that we have is the flex shoulder raises. Just like Jim is demonstrating here, you're going to come up to your sides, then to the front and then go down in front of your body as well. Go up to the sides, come to the front and go down. You can also reverse this movement by going up in front of you, then bringing the dumbbells back and going back down by your sides. This just adds a little bit of variation to the movement. Make sure that you keep your back straight the whole time, keep your head up high. You just need to use a light weight to get a really good burn throughout your shoulders on this movement. Remember, this is just a warm up, so you need to do around 12 repetitions that you can do quite comfortably before moving into your first working set. So you can grab a weight that's just a little bit heavier now and perform this movement again. Coming up to the sides, bring the dumbbells to the front and then lower them. Breathing out here and then breathing in on the way back down. Keep your body straight, don't use any momentum, keep the movement strict. Once you've done three sets of around 12 repetitions, you can put the weights back and move on to the second movement, which is the dumbbell shoulder press. You can grab some weights now and get ready to go straight into your first set. Put the dumbbells upon your knees like Jim has shown you here. And then with your legs, you can bring the weights up, up to either side of your head, and then push up with the dumbbells overhead. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out on the way up. Come down until your arms are just past a right angle before going up and locking out overhead. Keep your back flat against the pad and do around 12 repetitions to absolute failure. You need to do three sets in total of this movement. You need to reach failure on each set. Once you've completed your three sets, you can put the weights back and we're ready to move on to the dumbbell side raises. Now this is a new featured exercise for this week and it's a great movement to improve the shape of the outer portion of your shoulders. Just like Jim has shown you here, you're gonna have the palms facing towards you and you're gonna raise the dumbbells up to either side, breathing out on the way up and breathing in on the way back down. And you're going to perform around 12 repetitions to absolute failure for three sets, resting for 45 seconds between each set. Make sure you keep your body straight and don't use any momentum to assist in getting the weight up. Once you've done your three sets to absolute failure of 12 repetitions, put the weights back and we're ready to move on to lower abs. The exercise that we have for you this week on lower abs is the hanging leg raise. 
So find yourself a hanging leg raise machine like the one in the picture. Keep your back flat against the pad, and you're going to raise your legs up, just like Jim has shown you here. Breathing out on the way up, and breathing in on the way back down. Keep your legs just slightly bent. Don't bend them too much. You just want to add extra pressure onto your abs. Breathe out on the way up, breathing in on the way down. And make sure that you go to absolute failure on this exercise, regardless of the repetitions. You need to do three sets in total, and rest for around 45 seconds between each set. Once you've completed your three sets, that's it, you're finished for today. You can go and cool down on a bike or treadmill for five minutes, have your protein and Vitago shake, and I'll see you back at the office. You completed the daily video trainer, well done. All you have to do now is take those after pictures. Try to take them against the same background as you took your before pictures, wearing the same clothes. And don't forget to post them on Body Space so we can all see your accomplishment. And if you have any questions for me, you can reach me at Cage Muscle on Body Space as well. Again, congratulations, you completed it, you're a winner.